We're Cassie and Bradley, and we're on a mission to drive our camper van around the world. We started our trip in France, road tripping through the Champagne region, seeing awesome castles and much more. After a quick stop in the north of Spain, we're in Portugal. And in this video, we explore the amazing city of Porto, the beauty of the Douro Valley, and one of Portugal's best national parks. Where are we going to now, Brad? Portugal! Country number three! three. <laughs> and we just realized that they're on the same time zone as the UK. So we got up early for... Uh, for uh, yeah. <laughs> so today we are exploring Porto. Have you been to Porto? Maybe. Brad doesn't know if he's been to Porto. So I've never been to Portugal in general, so excited for a new country. But also, in terms of Corona, crossing this border shouldn't require anything because the land border between Spain and Portugal is open and free-flowing. Three, two, one! We decided to stop off in Little to get a few uh, bits of shopping for the rest of our trip and end up finding the best supermarket ever. <laughs> yes. It's the first one that had all these like vegan meats and whatnot, which is great for us. But, where is it? That is the first supermarket ever that sells cachaça outside of Brazil. And this is the best drink in the world. Yeah. No doubt. If you don't know what caipirinhas are, then Google it. Or just keep That's watching this video because we'll probably be having it. <laughs> We're parked over there and the metro is right here. So we got our tickets and making our way into Porto. We made it to Porto. Yes, and I've got like six things bookmarked to do. Not doing everything available, but things that we want to do. We are, I'm having my first pastel de natas. The guy told me that's how you pronounce it. And this is the most like traditional dessert, I guess, or snack of Portugal. Yeah. Have you had one? I haven't, no. I'm excited. All right, so we're both yeah. having our first one. <laughs> that true reaction. It's <laughs> really good. I don't think it'd be that like crispy. crunchy. Like, yeah, like flaky, but it's really good. <laughs> You're gonna like that. Oh, my red. Oh, we all know how good I look eating on camera. What do you think? I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> We're gonna try and go up this to get a view. Are you ready to hit the stir master? I'm panting already. <laughs> I'm going to just come in through the entrance. Those of you that say that being a travel blogger isn't hard work, <laughs> these are sort of things we have to go through. The views are getting better though. Look at that. this store here you see like carnival rides and like cogs and machines you think oh it's like a toy store what it is it's a sardine store yeah those are just rows of sardines have you ever loved fish so much that you make a store out of it yeah look <laughs> they really love their sardines mix for at porto cathedral Where's our next location? Uh, Bolsa. And then we're gonna hit the water for a tour. <laughs>
realise it's like half two, half three. We haven't eaten yet. We're gonna go to the front and try and find something to eat. This is a McDonald's. When do you get fancy McDonald's like that in the UK? So we have found a nice restaurant called Cafe de Cas. And we're gonna drink some Caipirinha because Portugal is just perfect. <laughs> Cheers. And how good does this look? Let's eat. Are we taking a boat cruise? I thought it took Caipirinha. Should make it more enjoyable, says Brad. Brad thinks if we meet someone with a yacht, we can see the deal of getting on there. I can talk my way on <laughs> The evening's kind of escalated. <laughs> escalated? <laughs> well, no, I just mean that we sat back down, we ordered other drinks before this, and now we've got sangria. <laughs> so, this is what happens when Brad doesn't have to drive. <laughs> In case you wonder what the in-between moments are, Brad sorts the toilet. This is a motorhome service this is point. A less pretty part of the landline. Yeah, but you've got water points to fill up the water, places to dispose of your waste, and your grey water. And it's uh, free, so it's quite good. So it is day two in Portugal, and I have to say, day one was pretty darn good. It's a tough one to beat. It is, but today we're doing the going to the Douro Valley, so we're going to driving up through it and we're staying on a winery tonight and we've got a wine tour so it's looking like day two it's gonna be pretty good as well <laughs> We just had to pull in here and oh my god, I think I've just seen the best house I've ever seen. Wait, you think that house down there looks great? That's not even the house. It's here. <laughs> just behind here. Oh, there's a coffee. Just behind, just in front of it, there is an infinity pool and you get a view down this side of the valley and the other side. We're going to go take a look at that now. But oh my god. That has got to be like, we've seen a lot of good views, but I don't know. This is, this is unbelievable. And the weather. I did not expect this. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal. What's day three gonna be like? <laughs> This road trip that we're doing is supposed to be, it's regarded as one of the most beautiful road drives in the world. And if this is what's to come, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll agree with that. I just was not expecting such beauty. It's amazing. So Bradley has basically decided he's moving here. <laughs> Sell the van. Land's on your cheap, what, like five grand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but literally it is. Build a pool. Build a pool. 300 quid. 300 quid. Tennis courts, obviously. Tennis courts, of course. Another couple of hundred quid. Um, Maybe hire like a, a, a family to live there to cook and clean for us. <laughs> so be, you know, so you're talking about tennis less, lessons. You're talking about less than 10 grand, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. This is 
Pin How. Another adorable little time. So we've come to it's called Double Double Viewpoint. And if you are driving here, don't do what we did because basically the road up here is tiny. Yeah. Um, and there's just no it, it, you can't you can't drive it in a camper van, so find you can, some, but, you can but, but you should no Yeah. But um so park outside oh. the little village. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Oh no. Oh my onion. As I was saying, so just park outside the little town and walk into the viewpoint. As you see, this is a very yellow olive oil. <laughs> yes. Very sticky. Uh, this is extra virgin olive oil, okay? It means that it's pure pressing and the olive oil has less than 0.5% in oil acidity. So we're having a wine tasting from Jose here. And we're having some olive oil tasting. I've never really tasted olive oil before. We don't really. It's not a thing, oil, no. but we're oh, no. good. So we've done another purchase. <laughs> we did a bad thing. We bought the whole Yeah, so we got a lovely red, which is the first red I've ever enjoyed. A nice white, some amazing olive oil, and some really good cheese. It's going to be a nice evening. <laughs> I'm already feeling the whole thing. <laughs> so you taste five wines and straight to the head. Some of these wines are 16%, by the way. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> Completely got, forgot to show you where we're staying um, on the vineyard tonight, but it is amazing. So this is 12 hectares, I believe, but there's you know vineyards all over here. Um, we also met a fellow van lifer last night. He's absolutely lovely and loves friends, and that was fun. Um, we're parked here, and this place is free, and you get to do a wine tour and a tasting and a tour of the estate with no obligation to buy but the wine was so good that of course we bought it along with some cheese but yeah if you're in this part of Portugal in your camper van I highly recommend the spot and I'm gonna link the name in the description so today we're going to be exploring a national park it's called Serra de Estrela we all know that's probably wrong but um, yes, yeah, so there's a wild camping spot there tonight, which is like in nature in the mountains. It looks really cool. And we're gonna drive to the highest point on um, continental Portugal. There's a ski resort up there too, but there's no snow at the minute. And there's also some natural swimming pools that we're gonna check out. Should be a good day. The landscape's just changed. Yeah, we took a turn <laughs> and the landscape changed again. Look at this. Look at that. It's like we're on Mars or something. <laughs> There's so much rock. Find the big boot. These are like natural pools, mountains. Cool. That was so cold. It's freezing. But we went shoulder under. But that is freezing. You can see now where everyone is actually sunbathing. Not really in there. Except for... Fred, you can go back in for the camera and I'll show you. 
It's not worth it. I know I did it. We are almost at the top. And there's a ski resort. Well, it's no snow, but you can see the ski lifts. So we made it. 1,993 meters. And we're getting eaten alive. Bugs everywhere. But bugs. So we're trying to get to our parking spot for tonight. And um, so we're up at the high point and we've come back down the other end. But we basically have entered into the unknown. This is a completely dirt track road with no barriers and it's really high up and it's sheer creepy. Drop. Yeah, sheer drop. And there was no sign saying not to go in here, so we did, but it's obviously not, not suitable. And the alternative would be to reverse back. Yeah. Trying a three point turn here. If someone's seen this here, it's probably like some sort of official that works something and they'll be like, how in God's name do you end up here? So we've come to the side of a, a side of a road. Now we're still in the mountain and national park and um, we stopped for some pastel de natas and coffee. Wee wee. Oui, oui. Look at that. Yum. Yummy! <laughs> we went in there, we had no food, we just had a cabinet with two of them in it. So we have made it to the beach. Well almost. We're at Nazar in Portugal, which is on the west coast. Famous for its surf waves, the highest ever surf wave ever recorded. Google it, it's terrifying. But yeah, so we're gonna be heading down the west coast, checking out the beaches and heading down south. So I'll leave that video here and we'll next see you at the beach. It's like half two, half three. We haven't eaten yet. So we're gonna to go to the front and try and find, I'm doing this while walking downstairs. <laughs> So today we're going to be exploring Park Natural de Sierra, Sierra de Australia. <laughs> oh, what's the curtain? Brad, you're riddled. Riddled. <laughs> Say I'm riddled. <laughs> so I just took a video of Brad driving the van round this bend, and I'm just waiting for him to come back for me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Happy? 